here to welcome our ex Pine CV. I'm Vani Osan. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the, the flag of the United States of America and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. Let's go to Aiden to see what's happening in our Black History Spotlight. Thank you, Vani. Today we spotlight the 13th Amendment. This amendment abolished slavery in 1865 to protect the rights of newly freed people. Congress enacted two additional constitutional amendments. This has proved to be a momentous moment for all African Americans and proof that we live in an amazing country. Now let's go to Chris for the sports highlight. Thank you, Eddie. Today's sports highlights are presented to you by the Patriots. Teenage sensation Chloe Kim snowboards her way to Olympic gold. On February 13th, 17-year-old Chloe Kim made history at the 2018 Winter Olympic Games in Pyeongchang when she became the youngest woman to medal in the half pipe. What made the win even more special for the first-generation Korean-American snowboarder was the presence of her 75-year-old grandmother, who resides in Seoul and had never seen her compete live. Though she fell during her second attempt, her initial score was high enough to assure her the gold, meaning the youngster could have relaxed during the third and final run, but instead, the Southern California native used it to showcase her unparalleled snowboarding abilities and make more history by becoming the first woman to land three back-to-back 1,080-degree -back spins in the Olympics. Fun fact, she was also a, con a contestant in season four of The Masked Singer. Now let's go to Noah to see what's for lunch. Thank you, Chris. Today's lunch is meat balls up, potato wedges, orange juice, and milk for the petite. Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Noah. Scholars, the February Are Ready Challenge is going on now. This time, the challenge is focused on reading only. Pass 30 reading I Ready lessons between February 1st and February 26th to be in a part of a spectacular sub-party. Start today to get all 30 lessons in. Patriots, we continue celebrating Black history. Today, we will jump into action recreating your favorite scene from Martin or Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Tomorrow, it's time for you to show off your moves by recording your class or team doing the electric slide or cha-cha slide. Be sure to tune in every day to find out what fun activity or dress down will be going on during the month of February. I can't wait to see your moves. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Vani. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 68 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny. I don't know about you, but I might play a game of catch. Now let's go to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, David. And here's today's joke of the day. Why did the clock get kicked out of the library? Because it talked too much. Now well, let's go back to Vonnie. Thank you, Samuel. That was great. And now I'll check in with Solomon for today's birthdays. Thanks, Vonnie. Today's birthday boys and girls are Chloe Williams and Nico Latimera Dosa. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Barrow, Miss Morales, Miss Santi Esteban, Miss Santiago, Miss E.M. Denqua, Miss Dry, Miss Calabrese, Mr. Bonilia, Miss Newton, Miss Julian, and Miss Stone. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was. Three doctors said that Peter was their brother, and Peter said he had no brothers. Who was lying? The correct answer to the riddle was no one. The doctors were Peter's sisters. Now for today's riddle. When you need me, you throw me away. But when you are done with me, you bring me back. What am I? Again. When you need me, you throw me away. But when you are done with me, you bring me back. What am I? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday, and don't forget, remember, reunite, rise, have a great day!